Hello, welcome back to my channel, Current Chapter. My name is Dani, and today I'm going to talk about all the books I read in February. So let's talk about books. I read four books this month, and I'm still trying to finish two. I'm filming this on February 29th, so maybe I'll finish them. I'll also talk about them, but I did finish four books so far. One of them is a short story, actually, but it counts on Goodreads. So far, it's been... A disaster. It's pretty much the worst reading month I've had in a long time, at least in quality, uh, not in quantity, but after having a five star in January, I guess the world was against me and just gave me uh, two, three stars, one, one star. Uh, the short story, I it was 3.6 on my rating. Uh, I bumped it to four stars, so it was the best thing that I read this month so far. One of the books that I'm finishing, it's looking like it's going to be like two stars. It's a disaster. But let's start. The first, I'm going to go into in chronological order of books that I finished. And we're going to start with the one star book. First book I read in the month of February was Seven Days by Patrick Senecal. I read this for the book club that we're doing at work. It was the first book of the book club. It was my suggestion and it's awful. I hated it so much. So it was not a great start for the book club, but... It's, it's gonna pick up, it's gonna get better. The story of this book is that a man raped and killed a little girl and the little girl's father kidnaps the guy and tortures him because of what he did. That's pretty much all this book is. There's a little bit of the story of the detective trying to find the man, the girl's father, but it's pretty much all about the guy torturing him it's very, very graphic. And to be honest, that's not even what made me give it one star. I didn't like the way the, no, the lack of story developed. There's no story here, really. But either way, like, it's a graphic book. It's supposed to be. I thought it was more of a thriller. It's more of a horror, maybe. Fine. I don't care about it. If you're still interested in reading this book, what I'm going to say next might be a big spoiler. So I'm going to put the timestamp here on the screen so you skip to this part if you don't want to hear spoilers about this book. The thing that made me hate this book so much was it would be maybe two stars if it wasn't for that but it went to one star was because there's a crime that happened before the story where a man, uh, one of the, the neighbors, the little girl's neighbors, the man beat a dog to death because the dog had rabies and the dog beat his son so the son now has a lot of scars in his face and the boy's father killed the dog by beating him. And there's a point in this book that the little girl's father is Bruno. He keeps hearing this dog in his head and he doesn't really understand why what happened. He gets to a point that the author makes a, well, Bruno, but the author makes a par parallel between the dog with rabies and the rapist killer saying that it's the same thing. That was where this book became a one star for me because I can't understand this in my head, how a sick dog would be the same as a man that has conscience and he knew what he was doing when he raped and killed the little girl. This parallel just didn't make sense in my head. And I, I finished the book because it was for the book club, but also because I wanted to see if in the end, that was gonna get broken somehow by some character here saying that it's not the same but that never happened so this was a one star if you like horror graphic books and you don't really care about the things that i said on the spoiler part you might enjoy this book this might be for you but it just not was not for me and i just can't get past that thing that i said so I don't know, I don't recommend it, but do with this information, whatever you will, and read it if you feel like it. <laughs> the second book I finished in February is called Endgame, and it's a short story written by Aisha Tridal. I hope I'm saying this right. Uh, she sent me the book because I said on Instagram that I, this, the premise of the story sounded very, very interesting, and I'm so happy she did because I read it and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's the one highlight of my month so far. This is a sci-fi about a world where we go into this virtual reality world to date. So it's like a, a virtual Tinder. And the main character of this book, she just broke up with her boyfriend and she wants to go on a date 
on the virtual reality thing, on the game. That's what it, they called it. And she meets a guy and some weird stuff starts happening. She starts getting worried about her real life and not just her virtual life. And, every, and the, those lines started to get a little blurry. And I'm not going to say much more because it is a short story. But it's very, very interesting. I think she developed a story very well for how short it was, like 60-something pages. And there's there's a revelation in the end that I really liked that I wasn't expecting. I thought it was very, very cool. The one thing that it's hard to, to say that for a short story, it's supposed to be a short story, but I missed a lot of story about other characters that, again, wouldn't be able to do in this format. But I feel like there's stuff that's supposed to happen now after the story is over that I wanted to know and how how that's going to work. And it just felt a little bit like it could be a bigger book and it would have been better as a bigger book. But as a short story, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it was 3.6 on my rating scale, but I bumped it to four stars on Goodreads because I do think it deserves four stars. And I really recommend it. It's very short. If you like sci-fi, if that premise interested you at all, uh, look for it because it's it, it just it was a lot of fun. The third book that I read in February, again, was a three star, and that's gonna hurt a lot of people. So let's just get it over with. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. The first book, I gave it four stars, but I think I would lower it a little bit because I kind of think this one was better, but it still was a three star, so I didn't I don't know, I'm very confused because this, especially this one, the first book, I stand by what I said. There's too many flashbacks in the story, which is something that I don't like. I just wanted to see the main plot and it kept going back and telling the past stories of the characters, which was great to understand those the characters' motivations and where they came from and just see their development. But as like as uh, as I'm reading, I just was bored. Uh, so I really like the main plot, but like, I said about what I said there, why the reason that I didn't like that book. But this one, it had everything for it to be great for me. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I just didn't care enough about the characters anymore. I felt it was very repetitive on the things that they have to do. Like in the first book, it, it's a heist. They have to get into a highly secured place to get something out. And it happens maybe twice in this book also. So that was just very repetitive. I already knew the whole formula and how the how all that was going to happen. The characters didn't change or develop enough for me until towards the end of the book. So their actions were still the same from the first book and the beginning of this one. So that made it boring for me a little bit. I don't like most of the characters here. Uh, I love Nina. She's my favorite. And I like Willem Wylan. I don't even know how to say his name, but I really like him. And that's pretty much it. I seriously don't understand why people like Cass. If you like him, please tell me in the comments why he's so liked, because I hate him so much. He's, he's a, the worst person ever. He's a very well-developed character, sure. They're all very well-developed. I'm just saying that they're, he's not likable at all. And I just didn't care enough about any of them. Like I, especially for Kaz, I think everyone should just have left him behind and go do their things because he was being very annoying. I will say that I think this is going to be so much better as the TV show. Apparently, the TV show is kind of like a prequel to Shadow and Bone. So I don't know how much of this story is going to be there, but I think this is, would be better as a TV show than it was a book. It's too long and it didn't, the, the, the length of this book didn't pay off in the end for me at all. I'm really sad that I didn't like it because it, it sounded like something I would like. I love the Grishaverse. I like Shadow Moon trilogy so much more than this duology, which is very not usual on booktube, but I like those kind of books more. I don't know. That's pretty much it. I don't want to say a lot more. I can't say a lot of the plot of this book. There's something that happened in the end that just didn't make sense for me. It felt very easy and cheap and I didn't like it. I love her writing. I will keep reading her books, but I don't like the Six of Crows duology. I will say that I recommend it because most people love it. So I'm 
the unpopular opinion here and you might really love it. If you're interested at all in this duology, just go for it because you'll probably love it. It's just, I don't know what happened with me in this book. The next book I read was again a three stars and it was The Sand Keeper by Erica Barmeister. I already posted an individual review about this book. I'm gonna link that in the cards. So check that out. I'm not gonna talk too much about this, this one here. This is about a girl called Emmeline who lives in an island with her father when she's a child and eventually stuff happens that she leaves the island but she doesn't really know anything about the real world so it's hard for her to to be in the real world and there's a lot a lot in this book that i talk more about and that review so yeah i'm not gonna go too much into it my three stars was mostly because I felt the book was very disconnected and there were too many stories trying to be told in a very short book and I missed a lot of answers and I didn't like the ending. I am reading two books right now. I am like 88% of an audiobook uh, and 86 pages of a book. So I just want to update you on how my feelings are so far. So the audiobook I'm listening to is called One Day in December by Josie Silver. It's a romance novel and I was kind of wanting to read some romance books after I filmed the Valentine's video. I'm gonna link that in the cards as well so you check that. It's one of my favorite videos that I filmed. And instead of picking one of the books that I was actually interested in reading, I picked a random book that was available on my library, <laughs> which was this one. It wasn't super random, I was scrolling through and this is a Reese Witherspoon pick from a month in the past for her book club. So that's why I picked that, but it was random as I was just scrolling it. And I really hate it. I don't know if it's the romance aspect. If you watch that video, you know the things that I don't like about romance books. The story of this book is that there's a woman who she's on the bus and she sees a man waiting for another bus on the bus stop and she falls in love with him at first sight. She didn't really believe in love at first sight before that happened, but now she does and she keeps trying to look for the man for like a year. I don't even remember how because she only saw him for like a second. But after about a year, her best friend, roommate, who she loves as a sister, shows up with her new boyfriend and it's that guy. And this story is told throughout like 11 years and it's all about the ways that they are not available at the same time, I guess. I don't know. I think just the, the thing that I really hate about this book is that that whole relationship is just based on lies. Everyone is just lying to everyone else. And I, that makes me feel really weird. I don't, I don't like that concept at all of how the story is developed. I still have like 10% of the book to read or to listen to. And I, I don't even know why I didn't DNF it, to be honest. It's just going to lower my average rating on Goodreads. I really don't like it. But, but yeah, that's happening. And the last book that I'm reading, I'm actually enjoying it. And I probably won't finish it today so it will count for March but it's The Guinevere the Deception by Kirsten White uh, like I said I'm on page like 87, 86 and I'm really enjoying it it's about uh, Guinevere who goes to Camelot to marry uh, King Arthur but she's actually disguised she's not actually Guinevere she's someone else disguised as Guinevere because she has magic and she has to protect Arthur and the kingdom. And that's very interesting so far. I really love the characters. I don't know how if it's gonna change, but so far I love Arthur so, so much. He's just a perfect, nice boy. So I really am really having fun with that. I hope I can finish it soon. So if I read most of it today, I will count it for February just because I need better ratings in this month for my life. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books and which books you read this month if you also had an awful reading month. I hope you did and I really hope you found some amazing books to read this month. And remember to like this video and to subscribe to see how my next month is going to be. If you watched my March TBR, you know that I'm very, very excited for this month. I have really high hopes for the ratings for March, but that's it. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me.